The first site that we're talking about is Superwash. Two gentlemen that have been in the car wash business for a while. I have been full service. I have been um, one retired, one back into the business with, a, uh, with bought a full service car wash. I've been watching the changeover from full service to flex and then now Exterior Express. And they've done their research and on this property here, they wanted to incorporate all three on one site, which is kind of unique. Uh, this, the shot you're looking at now is the uh, full service canopy area where they do the interior cleaning, the vacuuming and the windows. So this is uh, after the wash process, the car comes out of there, Customer is in command of the car the whole time. So they're running through the car as an express through the tunnel. After the wash, if they elected to buy that full service option, they pull under this canopy area where then the gentlemen at the site take the car over, vacuum, wash the windows in and out, dust the dashboard, and pick up any droplets that are left on the vehicle from the service. This menu, as you can see, incorporates both the express wash and the full service wash. Simple. Um, what, we, what we've learned from the Express Exteriors, customer can't handle more than um, three wash packages. Real simple, a five, eight, and ten. What we see with the auto teller that we'll get into in a minute is that the customer, not being sold, will normally choose the middle. You'll average somewhere in that middle price point. The piece of equipment that you see in this screen here is the auto cashier. This is what's made the Express Exteriors so um, popular and then so uh, successful. That, AT, that, that auto cashier will greet the customer with a video and a, a, of a young lady, welcome them to the car wash and prompting them through all the steps it takes to, to buy the wash. The customer interaction, once they purchase a, a wash, um, whether it's a cash credit card or a prepaid transaction, as soon as they're complete, their receipt is, is uh, printed, their gate which is that uh, yellow post on the, on the yellow and stainless steel post opens, that puts them in queue. You can have two, two gates, three gates, even four gates on a site. Uh, no matter how, fat, how many people come in, the first customer to complete the transaction will be the next one in line. And that's what allows us to keep them in queue and keep all the cars in order and everybody gets what they paid for. On the entrance side of this one here, they've got a, an arrow stripe showing uh, the direction to the conveyor. It aligns the driver's side wheel with the conveyor. And if you can see on this one here, we've got a little downhill slope on the conveyor and the brake lights indicate on this one here, the customer is foot on the brake approaching the conveyor opposed to stepping on the gas to approach the conveyor, which is much safer. And the customer is much more in control of the vehicle riding the brake than the other gas. Express exterior is in uh, all the car washes. Uh, simple instructional sign asking the customer and showing them with, with visuals Car in neutral, antenna down, no foot on the brake, and hands out the steering wheel. In this wash package, we um, installed a, enough equipment to do a car wash that'll satisfy the Express business. And the Express has been much more demanding. This car wash has what we call the spider wraparounds with the front to back mitter and an attached tire brush. Uh, that's the start of the wash process. Um, that cleans front, back, sides, tops, and tires, all in one compact module. In front of that, at the very tunnel entrance, the, one of the new items we have is the foaming uh, applicator arch. It's two directional. We're spraying uh, the vehicle from the sides, aimed at the front of the vehicle, where you can see here full coverage on the bumpers, the hood, the side windows, and then there's a top manifold that'll come on just about the windshield to cover the windshield, and then down to the back of the vehicle all the way to the bumper. The newest thing about this is that we've um, created it with a foam applicator. Foam shows us visually that we got 100% coverage on the vehicle with the detergents, and it also, because of the weight of the foam, it's heavier, helps to already start to pull the dirt off the vehicle and have it drag down the sides of the car. Spider wraparound has a set of reverse wraparounds that meet the vehicle first. They're designed totally differently than the standard uh, exit and wraparound. They're much more friendly coming off the, the front of the vehicle. They don't bounce um, off the nose as do the traditional wraparounds. And uh, the new design is with a six inch core, which puts much more material between the vehicle and the hub. Here it is here uh, around the side of the vehicle, already come off the nose and 
You can see by the swipes on the hood, the amount of penetration the cloth gets into the vehicle. On the front to back mirror, it's got the newest material, which is MicroClean, exclusive by Sunnies. Very quiet on the car, which is very satisfying to the exterior market. Yet the, the nap and the texture of the material is about a quarter of an inch deep, which allows it to clean the hood grooves, windshield eyebrows, contoured shapes of luggage racks, the tops of the vehicles, better than any cloth we've had on a mirror before. The exit and wraparound, again designed differently from the reverse set, allows the, the brush to come off the nose of the car in a very gentle and smooth manner, uh, stays on the vehicle so it doesn't bounce, with no bouncing we have no damage. Uh, both wraparounds in this location are being run with Neoglide, which is a uh, closed cell foam material that absorbs no water, doesn't change its weight, works the same on the first car as it does on the 100th car as it does on the last car of the day. Soap applications, uh, besides the first applicator, which was the, the dual foaming applicator with an alkaline detergent, we also use a uh, citric low pH uh, foam detergent in front of the mitter to lubricate the cloth and to help with the different type of cleaning between uh, alkaline and low pH, different types of dirt on the, on the vehicle surface. The wraparounds, the way they're designed, uh, full coverage on the side of the vehicles and the front of the vehicles. You can overlap them with adjustable stops um, depending on license plates. Uh, in different parts of the country. On the back of the vehicle, because of the RPM of the brush and the air controls that are available for the cylinders, we design them and, and adjust them to operate in cover. Each brush will cover two thirds of the back, overlapping at the license plate area, which is one of the toughest to clean. Because um, we're in Florida and it, it's an express wash option, we have an Omni 350 with a spinner combination. The Omni 350, as you can see from the top, is utilizing the uh, zero degree plus nozzles which are new to Sunny's and uh, designed here they actually inject air uh, it's an aerated nozzle draws air in takes the small um, stream of water breaks it down into uh, tiny droplets and gives it a much larger diameter and holds its shape and penetration for a much longer distance and as you can see here in that drawing and follow the lines down when it's hitting the windshield and under the wipers and any bugs in the windshield at six to eight hundred pounds of pressure this will clean the bugs off the windshield on the sides you can see that the um, side blaster and the spinner are on at the same time and they're switching their water usage that shot there happens to be right in between the switch so we're directing the water from the omni to the spinner and it's just caught at midstream we're able to do cover the wheel in this application for almost nine feet because they've got three sets in there to get 100 percent cleaning on the wheels without the use of an acid-based wheel cleaner the new microclean cloth on the second uh, mitter, which would be used as a polish wax mitter or a final, you know, extra cleaning mitter. Again, quiet and gentle. Here we've got the, um, the red plastic arch is what we call our halo rinse, designed for high volume uh, rinsing in a exterior application or a full serve application. The whole focus here is the faster we run the vehicle on the conveyor. The more soap we put on, the more triple foam, we need to get it rinsed in a much shorter period of time to get it ready for, um, for the drying agent application. This design of the arch here, all the nozzles, as you look at them, point towards the center of the vehicle. We've run that with a 30 gallon a minute, um, 190 PSI pump. We actually angle the nozzles towards the entrance of the car wash. So as we're rinsing, we're also stripping the water as you would use a pressure gun or a water broom, stripping the water off the car so that when we apply the drying agent, through the rain arches, the drying agent actually hits the surface of the vehicle and uh, creates a great water break. And you can see in this picture here, it's still in the rinse arches, still being rinsed, and we're getting an excellent break in the hood where the water is already trying to run off, opposed to sit on the hood with tiny beads. In this uh, location, we also, for the express and the full serve, we've got the tire shine machine that is an online tire dressing applicator. It uh, applies the chemical into the sponge pads, saturated the sponge pads, and then wipes it onto the tire and uh, makes it for a nice clean application, leaves the driveway not slippery, the chemical stays in the pad or on the tire, and doesn't get carried around the property. Here you can see the type of water break and the, the beads are bigger and the water moves easily off the hood. Here the blower design is, is set so that we're drying the car from the top down. And uh, you see more nozzles on the top of the vehicle. The two outside ones up top are to get the gutter rails of the SUVs and vans and push that water down. The two side nozzles are scrolled over the top 
so that we continue the water moving down and not horizontally and pushing it back up on the vehicle. Besides the vacuum cleaners, you can see on the passenger side floor is a stainless steel plate, two feet wide. It's 3 16 thick or 1 8 thick, and it runs the length of the tunnel. It provides a, a slick surface for the passenger's tire to, to ride on. And when you have a vehicle that is out of alignment or low tire pressure where it will want to pull or try to climb out of the conveyor, it doesn't allow it to get any traction as it would on the concrete surface. It makes it much more safer and less likely to have a car jump a roller or climb out of the conveyor. Also in this shot, you can see the plastic um, wall treatments on both the driver and passenger side running up um, about uh, 100 inches, which is where the, the car wash is normally the dirtiest. This is a PVC wall material, uh, much better now than the old FRP or the sprayed on fiberglass. It's replaceable um, at very reasonable uh, cost and is 100% PVC throughout, which is easy to clean, easy to maintain, and non-staining. So it's one of the nicest uh, innovations for the interior wall of a car wash. At this point here, the customer um, who purchased an exterior only wash will be able to drive and leave the property uh, without much interaction with any customers or any employees. If they opted to go to a free vacuum area, the, this site is set up with um, approximately uh, 20 free vacuum stalls where they can pull up and vacuum for as long as they want, free of charge, which is you know, based on the, on, the, on the exterior wash price, without having to be rushed out of their space, without having to find coins or change. When they're done, they're free to leave and go. If they were to get the full service, they would come out of that and exit left, go right underneath that canopy to get their full service wash or their express wax. They're very successful.